Is typing going to be a thing of the past in a year or two's time? I think this is a sneak peek of it because I can create some Excel dummy data, a summary chart, all without actually touching my keyboard with GPT-4. Okay, let's go. Right, so this is my data. But maybe I don't want to actually load this file into GPT-4, so I'm going to create a mock-up of this, which I could then apply this data to and analyze this data by product sales, okay? So let's give this a go. I'm going to open up GPT-4. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, check those out. And at the end of this video, I'll just mention a bit about how you set up GPT-4. I've also got advanced data analysis enabled, and I'll show you that later as well. Okay, but Windows key H, okay, is the speech to text. So let's give this a go, Windows key H. Create an Excel file containing four columns, full stop. Date, comma, product code, comma, units, comma, price per unit, full stop. Create 20 rows of random data for five different products, full stop. Create a summary table that summarizes those product sales, where sales is price per unit times units, full stop. Create a column chart that is green, showing me total sales by product sorted max to min. Full stop. Let's give this a go. Now you can break that into elements because you can do one bit and then you can tell it to add this and add this. But in the interest of time, I've just told it what to do in one full hit. So let's see, let's see how good it is. And yes, I can do this right now today simply with a pivot table and not have to do any of this sort of stuff. But you're missing the point. This is about the future and using speech rather than typing. Okay, back to the video. Okay, here it goes. It's doing it. It's giving me a total sales by product code. It's creating the Excel file. All right, and I can download it here. Let's see if it's any good. So here's the dummy data. Here's my summary. Okay, and there's my products. All right, let's try adding something, a couple of other things. Windows key H. Can you make the column, the charts, full stop, delete that. Can you make the chart dark green and give the product codes another column called product name and use some names from the world of technology? Full stop. Also, in addition to the Excel file, can you export the chart as a JPG? Full stop. Let's go. Let's see if that'll work. Okay, so it's created that little product name table for me. And it's going to update the Excel file and include those changes. Okay, let's take a quick look. All right, that's pretty cool. Where will it take us next? All right, and just for those of you who are new to GPT-4 or ChatGPT, the GPT-4, okay, is a paid feature. It's 20 bucks a month. And you need to go to, once you've logged in and, and signed up, go to settings and beta, beta features, turn on advanced data analysis. And also under data controls, you can turn off your chat history and training so that your data will not be used to inform the model, which is a bit more secure. But be careful with any sensitive data, anonymize it before you upload it. All right, catch you in the next video.